Good evening, everyone. This is Felicia here from um, Afi Bank. Thanks a lot for spending your time on this uh, beautiful evening and also for calling in to know uh, more information about, um, you guess it, the hottest topic of the year, in fact, two years, um, which is COVID, right? So good evening again, um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the Afin Bank Health Webinar today. Like I mentioned as well, um, with the ongoing hottest topic, of these two years uh, and as also we are heading into the endemic state of the COVID at the moment. So do you really think you know everything about COVID or do you not? Today we are very fortunate. We are actually having two very informative sessions um, to even further well equip your knowledge even more. Um, good news as well, something to add on. Everyone that is attending the session today will be getting 10% uh, off store-wide uh, on the uh, Big Mark card via the Lazada platform, which we will share more details later on how to uh, access this code. And if you have any sessions during the session, uh, to any questions, sorry, during the sessions, feel free to drop it into the chat box. We will try to address it. Um, if time's allowed in the session or not, we will get to reply you uh, personally. We'll try to reach out to you to, uh, on your queries, right? So first and foremost, um, in the first session, firstly, uh, we're very fortunate to have Miss Kong Wai Ting. Um, she's the founder of Nice Pharmacy and also a very online uh, herself uh, own shop and also an online entrepreneur. A little bit more about her, she is a pharmacist with 20 years of community pharmacy experience. She owns her own pharmacy, Nice Pharmacy. Uh, it's actually based in Shiraz. She also has a professional degree in pharmacy uh, from Unicim Malaya and also uh, a mom of very three uh, cute active kids. She's also a successful online entrepreneur uh, and also selected as one of the 16 Lazada certified trainers um, in Malaysia to uh, grow and even train more sellers. She's also an HRDF certified trainer, uh, e-commerce coach, and also a speaker in the national Lazada masterclass and also many entrepreneurs events. I'm sure uh, many of uh, my guests in the uh, session would even know her uh, earlier, uh, even before this session. Uh, so she conducts a lot of regular e-commerce trainings, especially in the uh, health arena as well. So as a very healthy KOL, as uh, the, the very usual lingo nowadays, a very key opinion leader in the industry. She frequently shares her health tips and also advice uh, in her YouTube channel, uh, which is the Big, Big Heart Mart channel and has over about 30k views monthly. I think um, without further ado, um, I would give the session over to Ms. Kong. I'll hand over to Ms. Kong for her very interesting sharing today. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. I'm, um, I'm Kong, and before I introduce myself, I want every single person here that um, can chat with me. I'm seeing the chat right now on my screen, okay? So, um, how are you all? Say hi to me first, so everybody can say hi to me. Okay, um, Okay. so today's session is all about um, COVID and what are the myths, okay? And what you really, really uh, think that, uh, hey, my friend say this, oh, hey, how are... Uh, uh, I think it's correct. Oh, my friend told me this one is, is the wonder cure. Okay, come let's uh, debunk some myths. Okay, so kepada semua kat sini, okay, say hi to me. Okay, uh, Rosalina, Arvin, okay, hi to everybody here. Okay, all my sessions are very interactive. You can ask me anything at any time. And if I don't manage to answer your questions, there'll be a question answer session at the last 10 minutes of this session. So it will be only a 20 minute session plus a 10 minute session session so okay so uh, let's go to the introductions on the next slide okay okay so i'm kong okay i'm um of course i'm a pharmacist i'm a trained pharmacist and uh, every year i have to renew my license so i'm still a practicing pharmacist in my pharmacy so um how i got into e-commerce for who here maybe uh, are they doing their own business uh anybody here doing their own business can say uh Tell me, okay, are you doing your own business or you're working for people? Okay. Uh, so uh, to those who have come in, so I'm Kong. I'm a pharmacist and I am a mom of three very active and naughty kids. Okay, so anybody here who have uh, children also can tell me how many kids you have. One, two, three, four or five. 
Yeah, so those who have come in, so say hi. I know that some just came in. So how I got into e-commerce as a pharmacy, um, my retail business was um, too, 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 too competitive already because I'm a small, small pharmacy. So um, then I decided to go into e-commerce five, I think five, six years ago. And then I've grew my business online and also on retail. So I'm a Lazada top seller in health and beauty category. And last year I was selected to be one of the Lazada certified trainers. There's only, I think, 15 or 16 of us in the whole of Malaysia right now. So I do a lot of um, uh, e-commerce trainings as well as uh, I have two YouTube channels. So anybody who wants to subscribe to my channel, uh, Big Cam Mart channel, which is entirely everything about health. So I'm a K uh, KOL on my Big Cam Mart channel, which I share a lot of uh, product reviews. And also my Kong Prerner channel. Okay, you can scan the QR code to go to my YouTube channel and please subscribe to me. A lot about how to start up on e-commerce. Okay, so for those who just came in, like Victor have three kids, okay, Fugaman has two kids. Okay. Okay. Lao Shi Yi, one kid. Okay. Never mind. One fur kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I also love, love, uh, love fur kids. Lah. Okay. But now I got three monkeys at home, a bit hard. Lah. Okay. So uh, Jenny is the best. Jenny four. So Jenny win me already. I gala. Okay. So for those who have come in, so I'm um, today, everything, don't worry, it's not very serious. I'm not um like a serious kind of thing. Any health things that you've been dying to ask okay uh health professionals that you want to answer to if i can i will try to to answer all of you okay so it may not be covid related so it's a 20 minute session today and the last 10 minutes is about uh question and answer so if i don't manage to reply your questions don't worry at the last 10 minutes you ask me again okay so next slide please okay what are we going to cover today is number one is uh COVID okay? COVID myths okay. Number uh, what is true, what is not okay. Number two is uh, what are the essential COVID things that uh every family should keep at home okay. And number three, what are the vitamins besides vitamin C? Besides everybody know vitamin C, I know okay. So what are the other immune boosting things that you can give to your children or even yourself okay? And the bonus is at the last 10 minutes, you can ask this pharmacist anything about your health. Okay, don't shy shy. Okay, I don't want anybody shy shy here. Just ask me anything. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so these are the three hot topics uh, about COVID that is, is it true? Or is it not? Okay, I want to uh, ask the audience that's here right now. Okay, to who all that have come in, uh, come in. Uh, anybody have tried any of these three to to cure COVID or to prevent COVID? Okay, I have tried ice swam. <laughs> so um, I know that the ice swam controversy was um, uh, a very big joke lah back then. Lah. So uh, anybody have tried ice swam? <laughs> I some to cure COVID. Okay. Oh, Lao Shi Yi say uh, I some plus salt. Uh. I got put lemon or not. <laughs> okay. So um all the I swam, all those uh, I I swam um, unfortunately does not cure COVID, does not prevent COVID. Okay, so sorry, okay, not true. Okay, the one, the biggest one is uh, recently the government saying that they may want to regulate the nanomis gun, you know, those gun is all the spray thing because the chemicals inside some have been known to cause some eye problems and all those and what are the chemicals inside is all not regulated most of those things actually come from china okay so there's actually uh not a uh, one that is really kkm certified or whatever kind of item so nano mist guns does it work does it not Nobody knows, okay? But the most, 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 most important, okay, is it, it is to, right now, the most important is to, every time, it's better to just wear the mask and use the sanitizer as per regulated by KKM, okay? So, and then there is Ivermectin, okay? Who here tried my Ivermectin before? Who here don't know what is Ivermectin? <laughs> Can you can type in the chat, talk, talk to me, talk to me, okay? So I want you all to be interactive. I don't want anybody to be sleeping, okay? So uh, Jenny said, try already. Jenny, you try already, we will become what? Got become healthier or not? 
<laughs> HOCl, what is HOCl? Hydrogen chloride. Is it safe to use with a uh, nanomist gun? Uh, I don't I don't really encourage you to use my nanomist gun if you really want to do it as an extra. Okay, the most important is the mask and the sanitizer first. Okay, then you want to nano miss gun, you want to nano miss gun. But a lot of people don't even use hand sanitizer. Then they only the miss the body, they forgot about their fingers. So that one cannot. Because our COVID is through the nose, inhalation to the mouth and through the fingers. Okay, so the mask already cover our mouth and nose. So the fingers is more important first. So hand sanitizer first. Then you want a nano mist gun, up to you. But make sure the chemical is safe, especially for children. For children, nano mist gun is not certified yet. So um, up to you all lah, you want to do. Okay, okay. I want to talk about ivermectin. Okay, ivermectin, you all go and Google. It's very, 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 very famous. Okay, because people say in the Facebook, Facebook, ah, not news, ah, that ivermectin can cure COVID. If you take ivermectin every week, your COVID no more disappear or you won't get COVID forever. So is it true? If you go and read the news right now, okay, do you know that most of the ivermectin actually comes from India? The ivermectin that is supplied to you right now, it mostly comes from India and India has the most number of cases. Okay, most number of cases. And Brazil really imported a lot of ivermectin into their country and it didn't even work. Okay, if you type in the Brazil uh, COVID rate, it is super high, although they imported a lot of ivermectin in. So it, does it really work? There's no proof yet. You want, you can try it. But right now in Malaysia, ivermectin is only legal. Uh, I repeat, ivermectin in Malaysia right now is only legal for pets untuk high one menghilangkan cacing it is an anti parasite for cacing for high one in malaysia so if you want to get it legally it only through the pets okay the uh, doctor high one okay but in malaysia it's not legal for covid yet so <laughs> yes parasite the it, Cacing panjang panjang. Okay, so if you really want to try it, try it yourself. But in Malaysia, it's totally not legal. If any pharmacy is caught selling it, it's also not legal. Okay, so please try at your own risk. Okay, ah, uh, Surani, betul. I will make memang for animals. Lao <laughs> Shei, it sounds scary, but on on Facebook or whatever, right? People say, "Wow, well, I will make tin can save your life," but can or not up to you. Okay. So the Felicia, whether this which HOCL, I'm really, really not sure. Okay, because a lot of chemicals actually will it harm your children or not. Also, it's not tested. So be careful about spraying on your eye area. Okay, next, next slide, please. So what are the things that you have to keep at home to, especially those who have family members, like all, all the parents or even uh, children at home? Okay, what you really need to keep at home or even a small office. Okay, number one is this, uh, like an oximeter. Okay, please buy a KKM approved with the MDA number. Okay, and number two, you just keep any COVID pass kit. And now the government announced, right, from 39, it became 1990 already, so it's cheap. And please, 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 please buy a legal one, okay? Don't buy those without the MDA registration because a lot of fake ones out there. Okay, and sanitizer, you all know, right? Thermometer, you all know, right? Paracetamol is actually Panadol. Okay, so for those who have come in, these are the things that is essential for you to keep at home. So you all want me to sort of show you how a, a, a test kit looks like? Okay, let me ask uh, all the guests here that has come in, say hi to me and tell me, have you all tested yourself for COVID? Pat, pat, pat. Okay, tested yourself for COVID, anybody? Okay. Uh, Lao, Lao Shek Yi. Uh, Lao Shek Yi, sanitizer with alcohol works better against COVID, okay, than compared to non-alcohol-based. Okay, uh, Lao Shek Yi is PCR. 
of Felicia itself test. And Surani said, yes, Monday morning. Yeah, actually now, right, 19 ringgit is so affordable. If you do it in uh, those labs, I think last time they charged like 250 or even 300 also got. So now you buy yourself and test yourself at home. Yes, PCR expensive, la, PCR. So what you see inside like this, okay, they have a very easy one. Like, you know, anybody who are here pregnant before, so it's just like um something like pregnancy test, but it's not using urine, it's your from saliva. Okay, Rosalina, uh, if I use sanitizer every few seconds, <laughs> you, you, you don't touch anything, it's fine one. So you see here, all the, it's very simple. There'll be a uh, liquid inside. Okay, so all you do is then you attach lah, like that, and then you, you just attach it. Okay, then you do your saliva, spit, 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 around like like uh like one half an inch or one inch. Okay, then you shake, 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 shake with the region inside already, and you dip dip it inside here. There's a like. There's a like hole for you to dip. So it's very, very easy. You can get results in five to ten minutes. Super, super, super easy. So um for those who want to know or scared or want to buy for their parents or whatever, you can do this. Hey, anybody go Langkawi Chuti Chuti ah, lately? <laughs> so um uh, Victor Ao Young, is it recommended to perform COVID tests after a few months of vaccination? You can do tests anytime you want. Okay, if there's no like a time frame, but some companies they uh, ask them to do like every one or two weeks and all those. Um, Lao Shi Yi, what are the alternatives for paracetamol if I'm allergic to NSAID? NSAID is not paracetamol. If you're NSAID, you're allergic, you are not allergic to paracetamol. If paracetamol pun tak boleh, then uh, you have to try other alternatives. Very hard lah. Okay. So, um, how accurate is the self-test kit? The self-test kit is not 100%. It is 98 to 99%. Okay. So, there's 1 to 2% that it may not accurate, especially if you don't spit properly. You're supposed to spit saliva, not meludak like that. Okay. So, <laughs> you need to spit the saliva and not the, the yellow color. You need to come out the white color. So, the technique needs to be correct. Okay, so any other questions? Oh, you want to see the oximeter? Nah? See oximeter? Okay, so the oximeter, buy please, please, please. Ah, I beg you all. Ah. You all, a lot of people, ah, they buy the go to online. Nah. They buy the 1990, 2990. You all want to hear a story? Nah? My staff, ah, go and buy the, how much she bought? Ah? 2290. Okay, the uh, and then no KKM approval, so there's no MDA number 2290. Then then she showed to me, then I, I score her, you know. Then I say, Come and let me test. Then we took out uh, a bear, bear, uh, you know, teddy bear. I think it was a teddy tiger or something like that. And then we test uh, the 2290 oximeter. Uh. Hey, the, the, the lion, uh, uh, sorry, the tiger, uh, the toy, uh, got heartbeat. Uh. <laughs> so, so. Cheap ones doesn't mean a good one. Okay, so a good one, you need to be clinically certified. So the ones that we are selling is KKM approved. I'm selling like two brands. One is the Aeon brand. It's 100 something. And then this one is the 300 something one from Germany. Because this one is hospital grade. So if you want to just play play, just then you can get the 100 plus one. But if you want like cheap cheap one, you buy yourself the China one around 20 something also can get but non-government approved. Okay, so you know, for here it's very easy. Okay, I'm demonstrating the, the Germany one which is used in hospitals. Okay, very easy. Look, you all can see me not? Can see say yes. So here. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to press on already. Okay, so then I'm going to put my finger. Okay, I strongly recommend you put it on a flat surface. Lah. But now for demo purpose, I just hold like this. Okay, and I just put my finger inside. Yeah. Try to get one now, you see here. Try to get one that has a, like a cover. The That to close the light. A lot of the cheaper ones, they don't have. So I on already, ah. look. Ah. Okay, then I put my finger inside.
Okay, so it's technically I'm supposed to put it on a flat surface lah. Don't do like me, just to demonstrate lah. And don't talk whatever. So, if your reading is above 95, you are totally healthy. Okay? Uh, if the reading is totally above 95, you are very healthy. If it's below 95, okay, then uh, it is not healthy. Okay? So, anything 94, 93, then you should be a bit scared. Below 90, straight away drive to hospital, need the oxygen tank already. Okay? So, don't when you do it, don't uh, move. Okay? Don't move. Don't talk. Okay, this is for demo purpose only lah. And make sure, ladies, uh, ladies, uh, those that you know like to wear the nail art, very thick one, or those a lot of those uh, nail polish, you need to remove your nail polish and nail art before you use it. And then your hands are wet, don't test. It will waste your energy and will spoil the meter. So number one, hands are dry. Number two, don't have the nail polish or nail art. Number three, don't move, move, move. It's not accurate. And anything, Above 95, 95, 96, 97, 98, very good. Means all oh, you're healthy. Anything below, for example, 93, 92, okay, suspected got COVID or suspected got lung problem. Some people are smoking a lot, also got lung problem. Below 90, straight away go hospital, take the oxygen already. Understand? So, uh, for those who have asked questions, what is the frequency to test on oximeter? Okay, any best time, any time also. If you get a good one like uh, the this the hospital grade one, okay, this one it can test the whole day, twenty four hours. Okay, you just stuff your finger inside and then you can go to sleep. Especially if you are taking care of the old people in the house, ah, uh, then they they like cannot move much, right? So you just put it in your finger and then in the middle of the night you just like uh test them also can. As long as the battery is there. Okay. So for those who are any any questions who want to ask me, can ask me. If not, we move on to the next slide. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. So you all everybody know, okay, I uh, need to make a uh, immune system strong, the one the COVID, right? But everybody say vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C. In fact, actually, not only vitamin C, uh, you need vitamin C plus zinc, okay? Zinc uh, in brands like uh, Reduxon, they have, okay? If you don't want this, you can take things like probiotics, okay? Probiotics, okay? And then you can take things like echinacea, which is even better. This is a German formula with, uh, and then the herb comes from Australia that will actually will boost up your immune system. Okay, anybody here have heard like uh, some Chinese herbs or whatever you want to try, uh, good or not, uh, up to you. You can try, uh, it's good or not because a lot of these are not tested. Okay, uh, they come into Malaysia labeled as Chinese herbs. So whether it is good or not, uh, government approved or not, uh, you try yourself. Okay, try yourself, but make sure not, don't simply, simply try lah. Okay, that day, uh, just last week, got one uh, old auntie come in to my shop. Hey, tell your story. She said, uh, oh, you, I, my friend told me uh, this very good, uh, the Chinese herb, uh, how to prevent COVID. If you got COVID, uh, I, I, I tell you, she said, take the Chinese herb, rub on your chest. Rub. Yeah, then uh, you sweat, uh, then you know more COVID already. So, <laughs> There are many, many of these kind of um, so-called treatments out there. Want to believe or not, strongly, strongly up to you. Lah, okay? But the ones I'm showing you right now is proven with uh, clinical papers, tested. Okay, But whether it's going to anything that help you prevent COVID 100%, that's none. Okay? To tell, so tell you the sad truth. The best is the mask. Don't touch the places where people have touched then that's the best uh, prevention. Okay, so next slide, please. Okay, so for those who wants to get a 10% discount voucher, can scan this QR code, go to my Big Camp uh, online shop, and then you can buy things, lah. shopping until end of the month is the expiry. Okay, so for me, 
I, I spend most of my time as a pharmacist and I'm also an e-commerce trainer, which I help a lot of new business uh, or even those that have retail but they don't know how to go online or maybe they already uh, have an idea, they have something to sell but they don't know what to sell, how to sell it on Lazada and Shopee. So I'm also an e-commerce coach, a certified one and also a Lazada the trainer. So I have my big camera. Uh, you can contact me anytime if you want to ask for health advice on my big camera Facebook. If not, it will be my compreneur. Uh, Facebook also can or Instagram. Okay, uh, next slide. So this is question and answer time. There's five to ten minutes for you to ask your questions. So uh, come, come, come and ask me questions. Okay, uh, how safe is putting on medical mask and cloth mask? One medical mask should be sufficient. Actually, one mask sufficient already. Okay, if one mask sufficient already. So uh, Ong Su Gin, my kid going to get to Joss, any advice? How old is your kid, uh, Ong Sugin? How old is your kid, Ong Sugin? <laughs> um, if for my kid, right, my girl is 12 this year and then there's no announcement yet from her school because we asked the school many times. So I heard that they're going to start the vaccination program for the younger children. Yeah, same like mine, but uh, I, there's no announcement from her government school yet. So just let them do lah. You know, it's it's no harm because in in uh those bigger countries they're already starting for teenagers and twelve already. Okay, so why not? So you know, you want me to answer? Is it good or not good, right? Or what are you supposed to prepare? To prepare is like almost the same thing, but good or not good, definitely good. I'm waiting for my my girl. My eldest is twelve, so she also waiting from her government school announcement. Okay. Uh, do you recommend that uh, Lao Shek Yi? Do you recommend stocking up home test kit? Not really. For example, you want to test. Um, if you want to test, maybe you test every two months once or three months. But for example, you all want to go Langkawi or you just came back from a big event, you scared, then you faster test lah. So you want maybe put at home a few, depends on how many people in your house. Okay, like for me, like I only got two adults and I put like two. If I, my kid, the 12 years old one, I want to put one more, then I put one more. Okay, so um, any questions? Any questions? Okay, uh, let's go back to the previous slide. Okay, so I mean those anyone who wants to get this 10% voucher can go to my online store, Big Camp Mart. I have 2,000 over health items, health, beauty, grocery. I even sell laksa, uh, sambal, or uh, many, many things. Lah. So as an e-commerce entrepreneur, we really, really need to, you know, stay safe. And not only stay safe, we need to stay strong in this kind of economy because, you know, uh, I know that uh, COVID has a, took away a lot of uh, economic, you know, op opportunities for a lot of people. Okay, um, Lovina, can I know how effective is mist spray filling up with non-alcohol sanitizer to kill the virus? Uh, Lovina, the government has made announcement that the mist gun is not effective in killing anything. So, the best, I mean, tested one is still the hand sanitizer and just the mask. So you ask me how effective, I also don't know because the China, the brands that you all bring in right now, nobody know what brand and how effective or is it really, really proven. Okay. So I, I know that some of my customers, they won't buy the original that all. They buy from us just like 750 ml and then they mix with water. But it works or not, I really cannot tell you. Okay. And then Tong Wai Kit, is it okay for baby under two years old to go outdoor with protective plastic cover over stroller? A bit hard lah, eh? because you know I scared they cannot breathe. So for younger children, I mean, don't really bring them out yet if you can, lah, unless that really got a event that you cannot tahan. But I already see a lot of mummies bringing their baby. I saw yesterday. I saw one in Jasco. Ah. They bring the baby uh, and then the two-year-old in the stroller, totally no mask, no cover, nothing. Uh, so do you think it's safe? 
uh, you answer it yourself. Okay, so uh, Lovina, what do you mean that non-alcohol sanitizers is not proven? Um, there are there are non-alcohol sanitizers that are ninety. What? Uh, some they say ninety-seven percent. Uh, kill the germs 99.9% so it depends on what brand I'm not really sure on which brand okay so but then proven wise is uh sent if you ask me like of course as alcohol based one is better okay but don't spray into the eyes huh? it will be very, very dangerous but alcohol one very drying for the hands um full common I am in Makoda Cheras okay but this you can do it online lah. now it is ready Satu Malaysia Okay, Ong Su Gin, my hubby is self-hygiene conscious, keep on spraying sanitizer at hand until his hand got <laughs> two color. <laughs> Actually, a lot of sanitizers causes over drying of the hands and they causes uh, some uh, irritation. Maybe you try to switch the brand and see. There's one brand in the market, I think Sarah Dunn, don't know what, I think quite expensive. Uh. Uh, it's a moisturizing hand sanitizer. Maybe you can switch to that. Okay. Um, any questions coming in that you all want to know and have you all scanned this uh, QR code to go to the 10% voucher? Okay. So this is uh, anything that you can ask me. You can go to my uh, Big Kermat Facebook page. Okay. You can, of course, you like the page first. Lah, okay. Then you can text me or any e-commerce related that you want to grow your e-commerce business. Okay, bring it from retail to online also can. So I think that's the end of my presentation since that no question comes in. Uh, thank you, Afin Bank, for inviting me to share my um, humble opinions on COVID here. Hi, uh, thanks everyone and thanks uh, Ms. Kong. I think we have one more um, question. Maybe we'll just take a couple, maybe um, about three more. Um, there's one question in the chat. Uh, when are we allowed to travel out of the country without having to ask for permission? Uh, I think you need to call up Putrajaya because I, I'm not in Putrajaya. <laughs> Yeah, I think we also have um, one more very interesting question actually from uh, one of our um, customers via uh, WhatsApp. I think um, with, with the business going into online uh, and also I think together with the retail business at the moment, um, seeing with the pandemic, in terms of the pharmacy line, uh, what, what would be your top item that is uh, most purchased uh, uh, by the customers. I mean, besides the usual, like you mentioned, sanitizers, uh, oximeter. Is there anything that you notice um in in spike or uh maybe one thing also in particular that um the customer is curious is that is there any spike in uh, antidepressants uh, medicine? Actually, because I'm a multi category seller, not only health, not only beauty, not only baby, and also groceries like makanan. So the trends are. Vitamin C is always there until the one whole, our whole country, every single manufacturer is short of vitamin C right now. So we get our vitamin C by batches, not like, oh, every week will come. It's like three months will come one time. So I think vitamin C is the highest. Of course, the mask and the sanitizer, but sanitizer, since the children don't go to school anymore, it does, the trend has gone down. So... um. I think everything also can sell, uh, especially for me, it's like we, we sell almost everything, especially like food items, also we sell. So the trend uh, is always there. It's just that how you find the trend. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting to know. I think um one more question we're taking from the chat. Um, do you think all the sanitizers uh will actually cause any skin cancer in the long term? Um, specifically, maybe um we're looking at uh skin cancer. Okay, for the cancer question, even if you don't use anything, you stay at home and never ever come out of your house, you also have a risk of getting cancer. Because cancer can be from genetics, cancer can be from anything. So whether this or not will cause cancer, we really, really don't know. I'm not sure about, you all heard about the very famous case, the Johnson & Johnson baby powder. Yes, so after using it for 50, 60, 70 years, then one person sued them sick will cause them cancer. But it's really subjective. And I have a friend. Okay, I mean, sorry, I'll just tell your story. I have a friend that uh, the family is a got cancer one from that side. 
Okay, so the the mother, the father live very very healthy, eat organic since young, and their children very eat healthy, never eat fried food, nothing. Okay, never smoke, never drink anything, but then at age twenty two got the throat cancer. So, so cancer can be anywhere. It can be in genetics. So whether this will cause cancer or not, we don't know. It's very subjective. I see. Correct. Yeah. I think the most important is, uh, I think, in especially together with the pandemic, is always to stay hygiene and, uh, like what uh, Miss Kong mentioned, all the uh, things that you must have essentials at your house, um, to ensure that you know every all the hygiene is well taken care of. Your family member, especially if you have any elderly at home or any kids at home, um, I think with that, uh, in terms of Miss Kong session, um, we will wrap it up for now. If any of you guys or any of the distinguished guests are uh, at the ground in uh, the chat, feel free to still drop the question. Um, if um, we will try to address um as and when or after the session. Uh, I think with that, uh, thank you a lot, Miss Kong. Um, as mentioned earlier, the vouchers, uh, we will still follow up uh, via email uh, through to our as distinguished guests, okay? Um, but don't leave yet. We have another very interesting session uh, to actually reach out to everyone. So following from the very interesting topic from uh, Ms. Gong, we, we have another session. Um, next up, we have Gate B uh, from our business partner, AXA Afin General Insurance Perhat, where they will be sharing on one of the latest products. Right, which is called the Smart MediCash. Um, in life, I'm sure nobody wants to have any unexpected accidents. Uh, you know, in, in Chinese, they say, uh, we don't want anything to happen to us. But of course, we have to plan. Uh, of course, if anything goes wrong in life. So uh, if in the case of any mishap happen, have you got yourself covered? Have you got everything covered? So it's good to always equip ourselves with knowledge and equip ourselves with the right package and the right coverage to ensure that our families and our, our loved ones are always covered. So it's a very interesting um, hospital income plan, um, something different from your usual medical card, your usual life insurance um, that covers the, the hospitalization cash benefit uh, for any treatment in case of medical condition or accident, which will share uh, more by uh, Miss Gabe B. So a little bit about herself. She is currently in actually the individual health department of the AXA Afin General Insurance Perhat. She has a total of 12 years of experience in the health underwriting department in uh, general insurance and she has completed, uh, she has a Bachelor of Social Science in Human Development from UKM. I think without further ado, I'll hand over the session to Miss Gabe B uh, for her very interesting sharing. Over to you, Gabe B. Okay, thank you, Felicia. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Gate B. So um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you our latest health product, Smart MediCash. Um, next slide, please. Uh, okay, I think um, Felicia has um, actually introduced my uh, profile, so I'll just skip this part. Um, next slide, please. Okay, so for, the, for today's agenda, I will briefly walk you through who is Exa Afin General Insurance Berhad, the introduction of Smart MediCash and how it works, and also what are the benefits and coverage under Smart MediCash, some policy exclusion to take note of, as well as the claims um, procedure. So if you have any questions or if you require further um, clarification, please feel free to drop your message in the chat box and I will address them at the end of my presentation. OK, so um, next slide, please. So who is AXA Afin General Insurance Berhad? Next slide. OK, AXA Afin General Insurance Berhad was incorporated in Malaysia in 1975. We are an associate company of Afin Bank, and we offer comprehensive protection solution to individuals and businesses in all areas of general insurance. Currently, we have more than 1.8 million customers, and we are also one of the fastest growing general insurance companies in Malaysia, as well as the um, leader in medical and health insurance in general insurance. As at March 2021, we are ranked top three general insurer in Malaysia. We have over 800 employees within 23 branches nationwide. We also have over 5,000 agents, brokers, franchise, and bank partners. 
So um, next slide, please. So um, for today's um, briefing, it will be about Smart Medicash. Uh, has anyone heard about hospital income plan before or hospital cash insurance? If you had heard about hospital income plan, maybe you can give me a thumbs up uh, by clicking on the small little thumbs icon on your screen. So, well, basically hospital income plan provides a fixed amount for each day that a person is being admitted to the hospital due to a serious, sorry, due to an accidental injury or sickness. When a person is being hospitalized, the last thing that they would want to worry about is whether their income is being affected or not while they are being treated in the hospital. So what is, so what is Smart Medicash and what is so unique about Smart Medicash? Smart Medicash is a hospital income plan that offers daily hospitalization cash benefit for treatment of a medical condition or accidental injury. When there's a hospitalization occurs, there is a possibility of an income loss, especially if a person requires a treatment to be hospitalized due to chronic medical condition or accidental injury. So Smart Medicash also provides admission outside of Malaysia due to an accident. In fact, it is a two times cash payout each day if the person requires an admission outside of Malaysia due to an accident. On top of that, there is also an inconvenience cash benefit of three times cash payout if a person requires to stay in the hospital for five consecutive days. Other than that, Smart Medicash also provides accidental death benefit as well as prosthesis allowance. And if you do not make any claims during the current policy period, you will enjoy a 5% no claim discount. So in the interest of an easy buy and sell process, there will the health declaration will be a simplified one. I understand that um, mostly uh, the health declaration or questionnaire will be quite long, but for Smart Medicash, we only ask one simple declaration, which we will talk more in the next slides. So next slide, please. So why purchase Smart Medicash? So that our customer can focus on their recovery journey while their income replacement is being taken care of. We all know that um, stress can be uh, can affect our well-being, especially during this pandemic. So one less worry means quicker recovery. Um, during the hospitalization, the person might think about their income, whether it will be affected or not. So, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, they might think that if, let's say, they were admitted to the hospital, what will happen to their what will happen to their income? So sometimes they may avoid to be admitted to the hospital when their condition requires them to be hospitalized. So let's, um, there are some points to ponder about. Imagine if let's say this person is a working employee and if he requires to stay in the hospital for an extended stay due to a serious condition, but what if let's say the company relieved them from, the com from their workplace? And also what about those that who do not have a fixed income, for example, like um, uh, self-employed individuals, freelancer or anyone who earns their living on a daily basis. So what would happen to them if let's say they were to be hospitalized in the hospital? Some, some medical insurance do provide um, hospital, uh, hospital allowance benefit to assist them for income loss. But what if let's say you do not have a medical insurance policy or maybe if you do, would it be sufficient to replace your income? So here is where hospital income plan can come to your rescue so that we can so that this hospital income plan can take care of the expenses that which might not be covered under your medical insurance policy. For example, if your existing medical policy has a deductible limit where you would need to pay the first layer out of your pocket before your deductible policy kicks in. Another example would be if your existing medical policy has a co-payment um, limit where you will need to pay a certain percentage before your existing medical policy kicks in. 
What about your daily living expenses, such as your food, shelter, utility bills, loan repayments like home loan, car loan? Also, what if let's say you are the only one working in the family? Who is going to support your family with all these expenses? Not to forget that your medical policy may not cover for your additional supplements, which is under the policy exclusion. Not to forget about the transportation costs as well during your post hospitalization, where you need to travel from your house to the hospital. The transportation costs during post hospitalization will not be covered under your medical policy. And the third point would be um, smart, sorry, the second point would be smart Medicash can be bought as a standalone policy where you do not need to have a base. You can purchase Smart Medicash at, on its own or to use it to supplement with your existing medical policy. Okay, so the third point will be the cash payout. The cash payout will be on lump sum basis, which we will reimburse directly to the insured person. Unlike your medical policy, where it will reimburse uh, based on your hospital bill. So Smart Medicash also pays on top of your other medical um, policy, uh, which means you will get paid regardless of any other insurance policy you have so that you can um, use the amount of money that you have to pay for the expenses that is not being covered under your medical policy, such as deductible limit, co-payment limit, and also your other expenses, such as loan repayment and things like that. So uh, as mentioned earlier, we want this to be an easy buy and sell process to our customer. We will only ask one simple health declaration and no medical examination is required. So in short, Smart Medicash is a very straightforward policy with the purpose of helping um, to replace our customers' income while they are out of work and being treated in the hospital. Key, so that they do not need to dig into their saving or retirement funds to pay for their living expenses. Okay, next slides, please. So who is eligible to join Smart Medicash? Um, you have to be a Malaysian citizen with valid NRIC, age between 21 to 55, and the policy is renewable up to 65 years old. This policy also qualifies for medical income tax relief, one person is only allowed to purchase one plan, uh, which means if let's say in the event that you have uh, more than one plan, you purchase more than one Smart Medicash, for example, we will consider that you are to be covered under the policy which provides you the highest benefit. Okay, um, no addition of spouse or children into the policy. What it means here is that the insured will, be, will also be the policy owner, only one insured member under one policy number. This policy is also subject to 90 days overseas residence clause. So next slide, please. OK, so we will now look at the schedule of benefits for Smart Medicash. Um, plan 1 features a daily cash payout of a daily cash payout of 400 ringgit if the admission is within Malaysia and 800 ringgit daily cash payout if the admission is outside of Malaysia due to an accident. So in the event of the incident where the insured person needs to be hospitalized for five consecutive days, there will be additional 1,200 inconvenience cash uh, payout on top of the daily cash payout. So for plan two, the benefits available are the same, but at a lower limit. Both plan one and plan two provide some accidental death benefit as well as prosthesis allowance. And you can also enjoy a 5% no claim discount for your next renewal if you do not make any claims. Next slide, please. So let me share with you the payout example. Assuming that this person purchased Smart Medicash under Plan 1, and during the policy period, maybe he met an accident where it is quite serious and he needs to be admitted to the hospital for 180 days, which is equivalent to six months. I know it's really long stay, but because of a serious accident, he needs to be admitted in the hospital for six months. So after staying in the hospital for 180 days, the doctor finally discharged him from the hospital. So how much can he claim under Smart Medicash? Assuming that um, he did not purchase Smart Medicash and the boss refuses to pay his salary 
or what if he is a self-employed individual, a freelancer, or earning his income on, on a daily basis? What would happen to his daily expenses? So in this case, he is, he is well protected under Smart Medicash. So um, okay, the payout example would be assuming that this person uh, is under Plan 1 and the daily hospital income payout would be 400 ringgit per day multiplied by 180 days hospitalization, which is equivalent to 72,000 ringgit. And in view that his condition requires him to stay in the hospital for five consecutive days, there will be an additional of 1,200 in convenience cash allowance payout on top of the daily hospital income. Therefore, the total payout would be 73,200 ringgit. It's a big sum. So if you divide by six months, it is like an income replacement of 12,000 ringgit per month. That's a lot. So now we move on to the next slides. So here is the uh, premium rating for Smart Medicash. Assuming that this person is between age 31 to 40 under Plan 1, he only needs, sorry, he only needs to pay 419 ringgit per year. I know it's really rare to be admitted in the hospital for 180 days, which is six months. Then imagine if the admission is average between three to five days for a common illness like fever or like um, dengue fever or viral fever. The claims payout would still be more than the annual premium pay. So if you divide the annual premium by 365 days, you only need to pay one ringgit and 15 cent per day. Even our favorite food, nasi lemak, costs us more than that. So with just one ringgit and 15 cent per day, you are well protected. So next slide. Yep. Uh, next, please. Okay, so now we'll move on to the um, policy exclusion. So um, I'll briefly walk you through the main policy exclusion. There are two main policy exclusions um, under smart policy, sorry, smart Medicash policy. The first one would be 30 days waiting period. Any claims arising the, within the first 30 days will not be covered except for treatment due to an accident. Second, any treatment for pre-existing condition within 12 months will also not be covered. Other exclusions such as um, treatment which is not medically necessary, treatment related to congenital condition, suicide, cosmetic, or treatment which has not been established as being effective or it is still under experimental status will not be covered as well. Any communicable diseases required quarantine by law, such as COVID-19, is also not covered. Of course, the listing here is not the full listing. You may refer to our policy wording for the full complete listing, which can also be obtained in our website at www.xr.com.my. Um, next slide, please. <coughs> so we'll move on to the claims procedure. First, the insurer needs to contact XR customer service or visit our website to obtain a printable claim form to be completed by the insured themselves and also the treating doctor. And secondly, to submit the required documents such as claim form, medical report, and bill to EXA. We may ask for additional information if necessary. And finally, upon receiving a full documentation and information, EXA will revert within 14 working days. And the claim payment will be via direct credit within five working days. Please note that all claims should be submitted within 60 days of treatment being received or date of discharge from hospital. Next slide, please. Um, okay, so I think that ends the presentation for Smart Medicash today. Um, if you would like to know more about this product or any other products offered by Exa Affin General Insurance, um, please feel free to contact our customer service or visit our website at www.exa.com.my. Um, okay, um, let's see if there's any questions from the floor. Sorry, I've forgotten to unmute myself. Hi, thanks, Casey. <laughs> it, it, it always happens, I think, with um the digital world nowadays. Uh, always unmute, mute, unmute, mute. So, uh, thanks for your very fruitful session. Uh, we have to also apologize. I think I think we noticed there is a technical issue with the chat room that um people are actually unable to 
uh, put in the questions in the chat. Uh, if you do have any queries, uh, feel free to uh, drop them via your relationship manager or your uh, branch manager and the, the WhatsApp to us. Um, I actually have a, I've got a few questions from the uh, customers actually. Um, um, they pass it through the relationship manager. I think one of it, I think we, we heard that um, some of the coverage may not be covered uh, if it's uh, related to COVID. So we wanted to check um, for this policy, if let's say the uh, hospitalization is related to COVID treatment or COVID admission, um, is it covered under the, the policy? Uh, unfortunately, no, because COVID-19 is uh, a communicable diseases required quarantine by law. So um, in this case, it is not covered. If let's say they were admitted to hospital due to COVID, then they may not be able to cover. I mean, they are not able to claim under smart Medicash policy. But if let's say it is due to other condition like normal sickness or hypertension, then of course that is payable under this policy. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, okay, we, that's good. Uh, we, we will also take note of them. So at least um, it's good to also notify the uh, customers, I think, on that uh, information. I think another question that we also receive is that um, if let's say I have an existing PA plan uh, on myself and I also have this smart Mary, will I be able to actually claim both policies under this um, same incident uh, that happened, unfortunately, to, to myself, for example? Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because PA basically is because um, due to personal accident, so you will be able to claim like maybe a lump sum of 100,000 sum insured, depending on your sum insured for PA. But because that this is a hospital income plan, we will pay you as long as you are being hospitalized in the hospital for an eligible um, injury or sickness. So if let's say you claim for your PA for 100,000, yes, and you stay in the hospital for maybe one month, 30 days. So you can times the, what call it, the payout. Let's say your admission is within Malaysia under plan one, 400. So 400 ringgit daily cash payout per day times 300, sorry, times 30 days hospitalization. So you get the amount. So you will get your PA 100,000 and also the Medicash claim I amount. I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a complementation right. to uh, each other policies. Yes, correct. Case. Irregardless of any other policies you have, Smart Medicash will pay. All right. So this is uh, extra on top of any other um health insurance or any other yes, PA correct. insurance that we have correct. on us. Yeah, I see. Um, we have one more. Um, it's actually regarding the eligibility. Uh, oh. I think we saw that the age group is uh, up to fifty five. So is there any room for um a special case or special approvals if let's say customer age is above fifty five years old? Mm, okay, well, this product has been um, filed to Bank Nagara as what I have presented earlier. So if let's say there's any changes, then we may need to notify Bank Nagara again, which may take some time. So maybe we can consider about this um, in our future enhancement for Smart Medicash. I see. Okay. Um, another one, which is uh, probably we also take if we have from the ground, uh, another one or two, if you want to circulate via your relationship manager, as we also would like to uh, keep the uh, evening so that everyone can actually still spend time with their loved ones. Uh, one of these, I think, a little bit um, out of uh, Smart Medi, for example, I think um, because Smart Medi, as mentioned, does not cover um, COVID-related uh, injury or COVID-related uh, hospitalization. Is there any um, policies or any insurance coverage uh, under the AXA umbrella um, that is able to assist in any sort of COVID-related um, treatment or COVID-related relief? Uh, okay, currently we do have a campaign um, which is called AXA Cares for You um, where we will pay for um, a lump sum of 5,000 ringgit for covid admission um, under category three to category five. Uh, but that campaign is between um, October until December 31st. So um, there's actually a lump, uh, sorry, a fund. So once the fund has fully uh, utilized or whichever comes first, or then uh, this campaign will end. Uh, it's actually published on our website as well. It's only eligible for our Smart Care Optimum and Smart Care Optimum Plus policy holders. 
So this is only for the campaign. But other than that, we have another product, <clears throat> international exclusive, where there is no communicable diseases clause, which means if let's say this person is on standard risk, we accept him as a standard risk without any terms imposed. In the event that he is diagnosed with um, COVID-19, then yes, we will pay for the admission related to COVID-19. The international uh, exclusive, uh, if I understand just from the title, is it uh, maybe a travel related or international related policy? Oh, OK, well, basically this product, uh, it's international medical plan, which means you can seek treatment within Malaysia or anywhere in the world, depending on your area of coverage. We have three different geographical areas. You can choose whether you want to seek treatment within Asia, um, worldwide exclude US or worldwide include US. So, which means if let's say I purchase um, this international exclusive and I am a tr frequent traveler or maybe a business um, management position, I travel a lot. So maybe I'll buy this international exclusive. So in the event that I met an accident or if I fall sick outside of Malaysia and I need to be admitted or maybe for a minor cough, flu, fever, um, treatment, I can actually claim under this international exclusive plan, depending on the area of coverage and also um, based on the country that I have chosen. So it's a bit complicated. Maybe um, I need another session to elaborate more. But if you would like to understand more about this uh, product, you can actually visit our website at www.exa.com.my. You can look for international exclusive. It's a bit um, complicated, but if you need me to brief you we can arrange for another session for this yeah i think that that would definitely be something to look out for i think with the borders hopefully re uh, reopening um like what has been shared with our uh, by our prime minister uh if everything goes well by end of the year uh, with international borders hopefully opening i think um looking at the time is uh, 6 32 p.m right now um thanks a lot uh miss kate b for your wonderful sharing and also miss kong just a few um Closing remarks to share, I think regarding the uh, voucher codes, we will also share and follow up via the email uh, that uh, our guests, you the one that you actually registered for the event. And also we will also follow up with maybe some of the product information in case if you want to uh, have a more read about it. If you have any questions that you want to reach out to the AXA Afin team, the Afin team, or even Ms. Kong, you can drop your email at wealth underscore segmentation at afinbank.com.my wealth underscore segment wealth underscore segmentation at afinbank um dot com dot my right if not with that i would like to um give a very grateful thanks again to all the guests for spending your great evening with us and with that we'll end the session today good evening and stay safe everyone hope hopefully we're able to see everyone face to face in the next event thank you and good evening <laughs>